In new audio from the exclusive Flow podcast, John Paul Miller now blames the events of March 11th on Micah's mental health and her refusal to take her medicine. Before I share with you that audio, remember the early morning hours of March 11th has become a critical point of this story. So critical, according to sources, multiple sources, the FBI is extremely interested as to what happened that day. Remember, Micah Miller was with a friend those early morning hours. Matter of fact, an individual who worked at Solid Rock Church and a private investigator hired by John Paul Miller caught them together, took some photos, and then called John Paul Miller, which sent him into an alleged rage. Later that day, Micah Miller reported to police that her tires had been slashed. And while getting those tires fixed, John Paul Miller showed up at the Honda dealership, threatening to reveal the pictures that his private investigator captured. Walk right away. I'll show you the pictures. Do you want to go to jail? They'll be on Facebook in a few hours. Alrighty, you'll be in jail in a few hours. Walk away. Now, John Paul Miller blames Micah not being on her medicine for what happened on March 11th. Take a listen. She did something she shouldn't have done on March 11th, something she would never in a zillion years do, ever, 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 when she's on medication. Mm -hmm. She did something that she only does when she's off medication. And that's how I knew that she was mentally ill and needs help was on that day, which was March 11th. And there were some pictures taken of her and somebody else doing something inappropriate. And so when I was taking her mail and she said something, I think I forget what she said, it doesn't matter, but um, I said, well, if you do that, I'm gonna put pictures of you and um, that boy up. And in sermons immediately following March 11th, John Paul Miller speaks of that alleged individual that alleged employee who was with Micah that day. Um, a few weeks ago, I had somebody on my staff, a young person that I had to let go. I said, listen, I don't want you doing this anymore. This is something that I don't think is right. I want you to stop. And they looked at me and they said this, uh, well, God's my ultimate authority. I said, what did you, I said, what did you just say to me? They said, well, you know, if God tells me I can do it, then I can do it. I said, you work for me. They said, God's my, I said, you know what? Get God to sign your paycheck for you. Because you're fired. <laughs> That's right. The person of interest in this story was allegedly immediately fired by John Paul Miller. But back to the audio, claiming that Micah did something that she would have never done if she had just been on her medication. Remember, Micah had left John Paul Miller in February, just a month prior. And according to multiple friends and family, the version of Micah that they saw in the last few months of her life was the happiest version that they have seen in quite some time. She found happiness. It was experiencing freedom from John Paul Miller as she prepared with her divorce and getting ready to move on with her life. And here's an example. In early 2023, Micah and John Paul Miller separated and Micah moved to Kansas to be with her sister. While there, she began building relationships, attending a local church, getting involved with her music ministry, and living without John Paul Miller. Then somehow John Paul convinced her to come back to Myrtle Beach and reconnect their relationship. But just a few months after reconnecting, this picture was taken of Micah Miller. It was July, 2023 when this photo was taken. And according to the person who took the photo, she was in a deep depression and she repeated over and over again her regret to coming back to John Paul Miller. March 11th was a version of Micah without John Paul Miller. July 2023 is the version with John Paul Miller. John Paul repeatedly blames others for Micah's demise. And he's not afraid to talk negatively about his now deceased wife. You know, you spend uh, seven years trying to keep somebody alive with medicine and um, their family convinces them to stop taking the medicine. And so then you spend three months every single day for three months doing whatever you can to keep her alive, whether it's going to family, friends, her pastor, her counselor, um, policemen, judges, doctors. I did everything I could, lawyers, whatever I could to get her her medicine and help her take it. 
and um, she would not um, take her medicine because her family didn't want her to. Micah's death took off like it did nationally on social media because America, at least most of America, the ones that have the loudest voices are usually people like uh, that like Jerry Springer show. And Micah's family is the epitome of the Jerry Springer show. The people who were saying justice for Micah are raising money for the people who caused Micah's death. They're using the money to sue the man who kept her alive for seven years and did everything he could to help her and his church. I don't even get that. I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't I don't, I don't understand it. <laughs> I need somebody to explain that to me. All I can think of is there's evil in the world. That's, all, that's the only, only answer I have is that Satan is at work in the world. Now, when she's off her meds, she's knocked the crap out of me a few times. Um, chipped my tooth, busted my nose, uh, hit me so hard in my ear, it rang for six hours and I lost hearing. But that's when she's off meds. That's when, and, and, the, and you just take care. It's like an autistic child. When someone you love can't control themselves, uh, you don't really know what to do. Do you hug them really hard and prevent them from moving their hands? Do you run in the other room? For me, I would just kind of run away. You know, I'd leave the house or I'd go lock myself in a room and try to talk, you know, talk her into understanding what's going on and who I am. And But when it comes to Susie Skinner, his alleged romantic interest over the last several years, John Paul Miller wants everyone to stop the attacks. Is it Micah trusted Susie? Susie's a great friend to both of us. And, um, and she, she lived a great life taking care of her husband and kids. And anybody that says anything otherwise about her is horrible. Like, talk about me, whatever. Don't talk about somebody who is married to a quadriplegic the entire time. Took care of him, moved him around all throughout the day and night, came home from work to take care of him, you know, gave birth to twins, uh, raised twins, worked full time, only breadwinner. Um, she's a, a good, good one. I suspect John Paul is going to accuse Micah of cheating on him the morning of March 11th. But remember this, just weeks before the morning of March 11th, John Paul Miller left his phone number for a random waitress he met at a restaurant. So there's something that's been on my mind and on my heart for a few days, but really it goes back a few months to February when this guy came into the restaurant where I've been working and left his phone number on his receipt. To make a long story short, I looked him up and he was the senior pastor of a local church. And I thought, let's see what he's about. An alleged adult conversation took place where John Paul Miller is seen allegedly asking for bikini pictures from this woman. The waitress, the alleged affair with Susie Skinner. I think it's fair to ask the same exact questions that John Paul Miller asked. Was he off his medication while going after these other women that aren't his wife? For the past four weeks, I've had the most horrible um, battle and horrible time of my entire life. I've never, ever, 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 not even close, uh, been through what I'm going through right now in life. Not even close. Horrible. I mean, Horrible, so bad. I'm seeing a psychiatrist every week. I'm on 900 milligrams of lithium. I'm seeing a counselor every week. I'm going to inner healing. I'm going to deliverance three times a week with pastors in the area. I'm doing everything I can just to be able to get out of bed. I'm so depressed. I want to die. I'm battling suicidal thoughts. I have unforgiveness, hatred, demons coming out of me. As the days keep rolling on, we're living in heaven. When you're the bride of Christ and he sees his bride going through abuse and hurt. What you think he thinks about that. March 11th. What really happened that day? The FBI certainly wants to know, and their investigation into John Paul Miller continues. It's time.